Hi everyone, this time I will be discussing evaluation of prefix expression. So say for example, we are given here an infix expression J, multiplication operator, I, subtraction operator, N, exponent symbol, G, addition operator, E, division operator, L. And then we also have here the values of our operands J, I, N, G, E, and L. The value of J is 8, I is 3, N is 4, G is 2, E is 36, and the value of L is equivalent to 6. The first thing that you need to do here is to convert our given infix expression into prefix expression. Okay, so we are going to convert this into prefix. And the converted prefix expression is addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, J, I, exponent symbol, N, G, division operator, E, L. After converting our given infix expression into prefix expression, we now substitute the values of our operands to our converted prefix expression. And we now have here our new prefix expression, addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator. For J, we have here 8. For I, we have here 3. And an exponent symbol. For N, we have here 4. For G, we have here 2. Division operator. For E, we have here 36. And for L, we have here 6. In evaluating this prefix expression, we scan it from right to left and look for the first operator. So we start scanning from 6. Then we have here 36. Then division operator. So, this is our first operator. Having found the first operator, we look for the immediate two operands to the right of the first operator. And the immediate two operands to the right of our first operator are 36 and 6. And then perform the operation which is division 2, 36 and 6. So, we now have here 36 divided by 6 and it is equivalent to 6. Our prefix expression now is addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, 8, 3, exponent symbol, 4, 2, and we have here now 6, which is the obtained value after performing division operation. And then we scan this new prefix expression from right to left again and look for the first operator. So we have here 6, 2, 4, exponent symbol. This is our first operator. Having found the first operator, we look for the immediate two operands to the right of this operator. And the immediate two operands to the right of this operator are 4 and 2. And then perform the operation, which is exponentiation, two operands, four and two. So, we now have here four raised to the second power, and it is equivalent to 16. And our prefix expression now is addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, eight, three. And we have here 16, okay, which is the same value after performing exponentiation and then we have here 6 which is this one and then we scan this new prefix expression again from right to left and look for the first operator so we have here 6 16 3 8 multiplication operator this is our first operator having found the first operator we look for the immediate two operands to the right of this operator and these operands are 8 and 3. And then perform the operation, which is multiplication, 2, 8, and 3. So we now have here 8 multiplied to 3. And it is equivalent to 24. And our 
prefix expression now is addition operator, subtraction operator, 24 which is the obtained value after performing multiplication operation, 16 which is this one, and 6 which is this one. And then we scan this new expression again from right to left and look for the first operator. So we have here 6, 16, 24, subtraction operator. So this is our first operator. We look for the immediate two operands to the right of this operator. And these operands are 24 and 16. And then we perform the operation which is subtraction to 24 and 16. So we now have here 24 minus 16. And it is equivalent to 8. And our prefix expression now is addition operator 8 and 6. Okay, since addition is the only left operator, so we now perform the operation, which is addition to the operands 8 and 6. So we now have here 8 plus 6, and it is equivalent to 14. Okay, so 14 is our obtained value given this prefix expression. We can also evaluate a prefix expression using stack. And in using stack, to be able to evaluate a prefix expression, we only need to scan the given prefix expression once. And we scan it from right to left. I will be using the same given prefix expression, which is this one. Okay? And we are going to evaluate this prefix expression by means of using stack. So this is our given prefix expression. So we start scanning it from right to left. When you see an operand, push it on the stack. When you see an operator, pop out the last two operands from the stack and perform the operation and then push the obtained value of the operands after performing the operation on the stack. Our pattern in performing the operation is operand 1, operator, and operand 2. Okay, so we now start scanning this prefix expression from right to left. So we have here 6. It is an operand. So we push it on the stack. So we have here 6. Then 36, which is also an operand. So we again push it on our stack. And then we have here division operator. This is an operator. So we pop out the last two operands from the stack and perform the operation. Then push the obtained value of the operand after the perform operation on the stack. Okay? So, our pattern is operand 1, operator, and operand 2. 36 now is our operand 1, and 6 is our operand 2. So, we perform the division operation. So, we now have here 36 divided by 6, and it is equivalent to 6. Okay? So, 6 is the obtained value after performing the division operation and we push it on the stack. Okay, so our stack is still empty. So we push the obtained value, which is 6, on the stack. And then we continue on scanning our given prefix expression. So we now have here 2. This is an operand. We push it on the stack. And then 4. This is also an operand. So we push it again on the stack. And then exponent symbol. This is an operator. So we pop out the last two operands from the stack and perform the operation. Our operand 1 is 4. Our operand 2 is 2. So we now have here 4 raised to the second power. And it is equivalent to 16. Okay. So our stack contains 6. Because we only pop out 4 and 2. 
Okay, so still our stock contains 6. And then we push the obtained value after performing exponentiation to our stock. And then we continue on scanning. So we now have here 3, which is an operand, so we push it on the stock. And then we have here A, which is also an operand, so we push it again on the stock. And then we have here multiplication operator. So it is an operator. So we are going to pop out the last two elements of the stack, which is, or which are 3 and 8. 8 is operand 1 and 3 is operand 2. So we now have here 8 multiplied to 3 and it is equivalent to 24. So our stack contains 6, which is this one, 16, And then we push our obtained value after performing multiplication operation to our stack. Okay. And then we continue on scanning. So we now have here subtraction operator. This is an operator, so we pop out the last two elements of the stack, which are 24 and 16. 24 is operand 1 and 16 is operand 2. So, we now have here 24 minus 16 and it is equivalent to 8. So, the content of our stock is 6 and then we push our obtained value after performing subtraction operation which is 8. And then we continue on scanning. We now have here the last which is addition operator. It is an operator. We pop out the last two elements. And actually, the remaining two elements of our stack, 8 is our operand 1 and 6 is our operand 2. Okay, so we now have here 8 plus 6. And it is equivalent to 14. So 14 is also our obtained value given this prefix expression. And we evaluate this prefix expression using stack.